Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little different um, as my daughter was helping me film it and you'll hear her talking. Um, I'm going to be putting a lot of things together. Um, it is about a, our last monarch butterfly. Um, I thought it was going to hatch this past weekend because the chrysalis was really uh, clear. You could see its wings. It never did. Um, I went to go check on it today and we've had chrysalises that the butterflies have died inside before and it kind of resembled that so I thought I would bring the chrysalis inside and my daughter likes to look at things and so I brought her down um, stairs because they're doing some um, homeschooling and um, as I was pulling a little bit of the chrysalis away um, it started hatching so the butterfly is deformed its wings are smaller um, but I thought it was very interesting to see we are going to keep it inside um, because it's it's just too cold outside for him to, now everything's dead it frosted over um, so I had to find some flowers near the house that um, were still living um, I actually cut some mums, blooms off my mums for it. Um, so it's kind of going to be a different video, um, but I hope you guys like it and any comments are appreciated. Um, so enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.
Her abdomen is big at first, but as she gets her wings dried and she gets settled, her abdomen gets smaller and her wings get and her wings get bigger. But she's something's wrong with her, sissy. She didn't develop right. So this is our mon last monarch butterfly that emerged. I thought it was, the chrysalis was dead. I thought it was dead inside. Um, but I brought her inside and she started emerging. Um, obviously she's deformed. Her wings are so tiny. Her body is bigger. Um, I think we're just going to keep her inside till she passes away instead of letting her outside. I actually had to take part of the chrysalis off her so she could emerge um, but it was clear like she was ready to come out Positive. so we think this is a boy I'm going to try and see if I can get the wings to open up you can see the little dots on the hind wings a little bit there, there's a dot there. So we think it's a, a boy monarch since we see those, but we're not 100% sure. Um, but I think, like I said before, I think we're just going to keep him until he passes away. We have a net that we're going to put him in and just keep him indoors. So this is the net that we put him in. We put some leaves and um, like a seed for him to climb on and some flowers. I do have um, a little bit of sugar water in there for him and then I put a paper towel with and I soaked it in sugar water. So hopefully he's got plenty to eat and I'll, we'll check on him all the time here. But this is what he'll be in. So I has two tongues. Let's see if I can get a real good video. I went out and got some flowers. I actually found some. There you can see that he has two tongues, which is really odd. His wings are too small for him to carry his body up in the air, so he has to crawl. And there's that little dot where we can see that we think he's a boy. We're going to keep him in a net till he passes away. But this is our last monarch. tiny his wings are and his compared to his body and his head go ahead and stop it. if anybody else watching this has um, had a monarch that 
emerged differently or had problems and you want to put a comment, please do. I'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe for more and leave a comment down below.